Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. It's time for another installment of How to Get Scared. No, that's not the name of the show. Uh, seven minutes in the morning. Yeah, that's it. And this morning, we're talking about being scared and why you should actually try to be scared every once in a while. Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week, you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome. I've got a little bit of an argument going with the sun right here and I think the sun's going to win so I'm going to lean in here a little bit but uh, hey that that'll be okay listen when you get here whether you're watching on the replay or watching live do what Gail and Joe have done leave me a comment say good morning say hi whatever floats your boat I'm happy with whatever comment you can put in there and um, while I'm thinking about it and before I forget because you know I will if you follow me on Instagram here's the little no nope, wrong side here's the little thing right here Instagram that's me on Instagram leave a comment let me know about that if you don't use Instagram that's cool say sorry don't use Instagram um, and I'll tell you why coming up uh, let's see well, where else was I going with that uh, I'll just leave that there. All right, so being scared. So um, I, I watched a, um, here's how geeky I am, okay? Yesterday I watched a video about how the Tower of Terror at Disney World works. Just the engineering behind making it work. How there's these semi-autonomous cars that move you around the hotel and put you in the elevator to drop. So, the, the thing that was noticeable to me, the thing that was, was evident, was how people like to be scared. Now, in that particular context, or in the context of a spook house or something like that, you're scared, but you know that you're also safe. But there's this thing that happens, there's two things that happen when we are afraid. One's biological and the other one's mental. Biologically, our body dumps a bunch of hormones and chemicals that gets us all amped up and ready to fight or flight, engage in fight or flight. That's what fear originally was about, was keeping us alive, right? But mentally, and this is where it comes into play a lot more often for us, mentally, it tells you that you are pushing the, the boundaries of your comfort zone. And that's really what I want to talk about today. We can still, even, you know, I've mentioned this before, more people are afraid of speaking in public than are afraid of dying, meaning they'd rather die than speak in public. Well, what are you really afraid of when you're afraid of speaking in public? Looking silly, being embarrassed, bruising the ego. But it's not like somebody's going to jump up there on the stage, hit you over the head with a bat, and try to cook you for lunch, right? We, we're not in fear for our lives. We're just in, in, in fear of our comfort. So when you experience fear, you get that little pang that says, Oh, I don't, I don't know about this. That's the biological thing is happening where you're getting all the hormones dumped but you're also your mind is telling you hey you're reaching the boundaries of where we're comfortable are you sure you want to go there now uh, here's the reason that I bring this up if you want to get the same results that everybody else gets then just do the same things they do which is stay in the herd don't go outside the boundaries of the herd um, you know, follow the script and do everything that everybody else does. You'll get everything that everybody else gets. But if you want something different, if you want to take back control, you want to create this uh, a clear vision of what you want, gain the confidence to do it, and execute on that plan, then you have to do things differently. Now, speaking of confidence, confidence comes from execution. When you are uncomfortable doing something, 
then then that's where you know fear trepidation comes in but the more you do it the less of a big thing it is right it's like I don't know jumping in the pool first time scary second time not as scary by the end of the summer pff, it's like just walk and fall over in the pool doesn't matter <laughs> Catherine I don't know how anybody could fall asleep driving through Knoxville there's crazy people up there and the roads um, so so if you want results that, that other people don't have then you have to do the things that they don't have and that means you have to get outside your comfort zone real progress occurs outside your comfort zone remember progress like this is going to be a long, a, a long arduous task or, or journey here so stick with me for a minute happiness is a result of progress progress is movement toward a goal so to be happy <coughs> you have to have a goal and make movement toward that goal but real progress only happens outside your comfort zone so to be happy you have to be uncomfortable because that causes you to grow and when you grow you expand your you expand your comfort zone it's not like you're leaving the comfort zone over here it's more like you're you're pushing the boundaries and stretching it and making it larger so find something today to be afraid of that do something that scares you that makes you uncomfortable and um, you'll grow your comfort zone and you will be on your way to get things that other people can't get all right I'll say it one more time happiness contentment is a result of progress progress is movement toward a goal so to be happy to be uh, fulfilled you have to have a goal and you have to be moving toward that goal now progress only occurs outside your comfort zone so to be happy to be fulfilled you have to stretch outside your comfort zone in order to make progress move toward a goal that's it not that hard let me say that a different way it's it's simple but not easy right but then again if everybody could do it everybody would have it all right that's it uh, let's see today is Thursday nothing special on Thursday nothing well, everything special about Thursday. It's Thankful Thursday. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you are thankful for. Um, and if, and if, here we go. Now I can get into my clothes. If you got any value out of our time together today, be sure and leave the thumbs up, the hearts, the likes, the stars, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you are watching or listening. And be sure to share this with one person who could benefit from this message today also. I, they will be thankful that you did that, and I will also. All right, that's it for today. You guys have a great Thursday. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow is, what, it's Friday? It's free coaching Friday. Nobody's been able to stump the coach in months. So if you want to take your chance at it, get your question ready, bring it back here tomorrow, and try and stump the coach. We will talk to you then. Take care.